Hi guys, um, just been listening to um, Red Bud Tree, Martin Knopfler's new song. Just got it on the iPad at the moment. Um, just playing there. Um, and I've just worked out the solo, it's quite a nice little solo. I haven't bought the album yet, um, it's my birthday Wednesday, so my fiance I think might have bought me the album, so that'd be good. That's why I haven't bought it yet, because she's probably got it. So I thought I'd do a lesson on this, um, yeah, this solo, seeing as um, it's a really nice one. It's got a few sort of classic licks in it, almost sort of reminiscent of his Die Straight stuff. So anyway, without further ado, let's give it a go. I've just tabbed it out myself, so I'm just going to share it with you guys. It's only just been released, so it's nice that people can learn it already. Um, it's not too difficult, actually. It wasn't too hard for me to work out once I sort of found the right area. It was fairly simple. So what I'll do is I'll play the first little bit and then show it to you. So here we go. Okay, so that bit is... So that's, let me turn my chair over a bit. Seven to nine hammer on. Slide up, it's on a G string. Slide up to the tenth. So once you've done that, you go seven, uh, and you go nine, ten, nine, hammer on, pull off. And you can either slide down to the seventh fret where you can pick it. I think it sounds like he picks it, so I think it sounds like this. Rather than. But have a little listen and see what you think. I've only literally been able to watch it on the YouTube sort of clip that's up. So it's not the best quality, but hey, there you go. So that's the first bit. 7 to 9, slide up to 10. And there's the hammer on to the 10 and pull off. And then slide down back to the 7th or pluck it. Now we'll listen to the next bit, I'll show you the next bit. So that bit is 12th fret G string, bend up full tone, back down again, play it on the 12th fret, 10th fret on the G string, and then bend up the 12th again. And the same again, 12 to 10. vibrato, whatever you want to do really. So, so far. Alright, now let's listen to the next bit. Okay. So, 9 to 10. Well, actually, play 9. Play 10, and then pull off, back to the 9, and then to the 12th fret. This is all in the G string so far. Every single note so far has been the G string. So. Because I don't think it's a hammer and pull off. It's not. It's, you, could, you could delay actually and go. But I just prefer to go. Okay, and then it's. And then it's a straightforward pull off from the 10th of the 9th twice. And slide down to the 7th. Okay. Next bit. A little bit of a tricky bit to work out, but I think I've got it. 12th. 12, uh, 12 fret G string bend full tone and then down to the tenth of the B same note as I don't think it's going I think it's going play around with your tone controls and you'll get it sounding a bit softer maybe that's a little bit too um, too harsh but then once you've gone, done that B string of the tenth It's hammer on pull off to the 11th, then it's back to the 12th, then the 10th of the 12th, and then bend up the 12th, same again, and then play the 12th, sorry, next bit. Very reminiscent of his sort of die 
demonstrates live stuff and just different little licks he does. Because it is quite different his style now, you know, as you've all probably know, it is different, but it's a lovely little solo and lovely strat. <laughs> lovely strat sort of tone, isn't it? Right, so that bit is. Uh, 10 to 12 hammer on. B string of the 10th. And then 12 to 10 on the G string pull off. And hammer on. And then back to the 10th of the B. Okay, so I hope you got that. Next bit. Hammer on again, uh, tenth of the G, hammer on to twelve of the G, and then down to the tenth of the B again, and then play the with your ring finger actually, then play the uh, eleventh of the B because you're going to slide up with your ring finger to the thirteenth of the B, and then hammer on pull off from the eleventh to the thirteenth down. Down back to the tenth, that is. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Next bit. Nice and easy. Just bar these two, the D and the G of the twelfth. And play them. for the B. Hammer on or just play it. I haven't listened to it enough times to kind of like work out whether they're hammer ons, pull offs, or just straightforward notes, to be honest. I must have listened to it only about 15, 20 times, but I was just so excited to learn a new little bit of Martin Opfler. So, um, but it's pretty accurate. What's next? So we've done. to the 10th, and then back to the 12th of the G, and then 11, 10 of the B, 12 of the D, alright, what's next Mr Nobler? the whole solo is incredible how much you can get you know just out of that small little area of the neck um, so yeah it's, it's quite a nice little solo isn't it no we just carry that bit on okay it's that same lick again so after you've done the Obviously, the tenth to twelfth again on the G. Tenth of the B up to the eleventh. Oh. Slide that up to the thirteenth, and then do the hammer on pull off back to the tenth. Slide 
modified from the 11th and 12th of the D. And then 12th of the G. And then it's 10th of the B, so the 11th. And then slide up without picking to the 13th. And then back to the 12th of the G. And then it's 10 to 11 of the B hammer pull off. And then landing back on that home base of 12 of the D. So slowly. song so yeah it's nice and easy really so don't have anything more to say really so enjoy it people i'm looking forward to getting the new album and i shall see you soon bye